Hi everyone. Um, so today's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be talking about just one book. I'm going to be talking about a few different books because um, right now I have 13 books to check out from the library <laughs> because Monday um, I meet my new students and we're going to do a book sort. And a book sort is basically just like I have books from all across like children's literature and then the kids that I'm tutoring are going to pick out which books they think are just right for them, which books they think are too easy, and which books they think are too hard. So this is the stack of books that I have. <laughs> and some of them I haven't even read before. Um, this book, Ten Minutes Till Bedtime by Peggy Rathman, is actually something that another tutor brought in. And I thought it was a pretty cute book. It's just... Um, a countdown until bedtime, but the kid's doing all sorts of crazy stuff on his way until bedtime, and I especially like this um, picture from it because if you can look, the boy's reading 10 minutes till bedtime, and so I thought that was cute. Uh, so this is an uh, easier, easier book. And then I've got um, Wordless Picture Book by Mercer Mayer. These I've never used these in tutoring before, but the illustrations are really nice. And those are good for storytelling. I've got another Kevin Hankey's, Lily's Chocolate Heart. Um, this is an easier book as well, although a little bit, a little bit more text in this one. Um, Lily is one of my favorite characters. The mouse, she's so cute. I just love her. Um, I actually haven't read this book, um, so I don't know exactly what happens in it, but it looks like she's trying to find a place to put her new chocolate heart in Valentine's Day book. I guess I got a little late on that one. Um, I got another book I haven't read. I haven't read most of these, I guess. I just went crazy and picked out a bunch of books I've never read before. And apparently not a very good student. <laughs> um, but... Fancy Nancy, The Dazzling Book Report. I, I love Fancy Nancy. Um, I, don't know, I haven't read this one, but the thing I love about Fancy Nancy books is um, she'll say, she, this isn't a really good example, but like it says, before we leave, we select a book. Select is a fancy word for pick. It's like getting a present for a week. <laughs> like, and so she'll say like harder words, and then she says, that's a fancy word for this. Um, or like here, let's see, later Miss Glass has thrilling news. Thrilling is even more exciting than exciting. We get to do a book report. I wish all kids got that excited about book reports. I don't have to make them do a book reports, but, <laughs> um, I guess I just wish kids got excited about reading. Um, and I've got this book, Little Kit or the Industrious Flea Circus Girl. Um, sorry, kind of some glare there. I have no idea what this is about. Um, I'll read the inside of the cover for you. Um, from Caldecott Award winner Emily Arnold McCulley comes the heartwarming story of an orphan girl in search of a home. The little kit lives in an alleyway and sells flowers on the streets from dawn to dusk just to get by. One day, a showman called Professor Mal Malafetta barges into the alley. He is looking for a helper, and when he mistakes Kit for a boy, she sees a chance to start a glittering new life. But Kit is, mis is as miserable working for the cruel professor as are the trained fleas that jump all day long in his industrious flea circus. She longs to escape, but where on earth would she go? That sounds like an interesting book. I don't know if I would use it for tuning, but, um, good. And here is a book that I love. And I've never been able to use it with a student because it's always too hard, but um, Moi and Marie Antoinette by Lynn Cullen. Um, and uh, it's, you know, a little historical and interesting and I like, I like the pictures on it. So, that's a good one. Um, it's a little challenging. I'll read. I'll read the first page. You would think life would be perfect for two adorable creatures, such as Antoinette and myself. 
And indeed it was, until that fateful morning, I was besting Antoinette at tug of war with some freshly stolen underpants, when we were called to the Empress I barked in palace halls. Hush, Sebastian, said Antoinette, we shall play later. Before I could utter another yap, I found myself in the glittering presence of Her Royal Highness, the Empress of Austria, Antoinette's mama. So, and I'm not positive. Yeah, I think that it's narrated by the dog. Um, yeah, it is. So, that's an interesting one, I think. Uh, and then my hard book that they're not going to be able to read because I think I hit first graders. <laughs> they're not going to be able to read a lot of these books. Um, Magic Treehouse number 22, Revolutionary War on Wednesday. Um, Magic Treehouse books are great. I used one with a student last semester and um, we did the Night of the Ninjas. That was a, that was a really good one. Um, they're interesting and they're not, they're chapter books, but they're not too hard. So like if it's a Starling reader, they actually feel like they're doing pretty well. Um, and this is the book that I really wanted to focus on, although I have been rambling for six minutes about several different books now. But the book I really wanted to show you, I just found out about yesterday, and it's an alphabet book, um, and the children's libra librarian at the University of Iowa picked this out and showed it to some of his tutors, and it's the City ABC book. Um, so basically it's just, you know, photographs, kind of like Sesame Street-ish. You remember they find in the door or in different parts of the city they'll find the letters and then what I like about this book is it has both the uppercase and the lowercase letters. A lot of alphabet books don't have that and that's really important um, when you're tutoring. I should use B and C. There's B and C. So I thought it was a cool book. You know it's got the red and black and white so it's sophisticated looking and very pretty, I guess. I think it's pretty. So those are all the books I have for you today. And the City ABC book is by Zoran Milich, if you want to check that out. I think it's I think it's an excellent ABC book. Um, one of the best I've seen, really. There are a lot of ABC books out there, but not all of them are really that useful. Some of them are like great for students that already know the alphabet, but if they are struggling with their alphabet or struggling with letters, a lot of the ABC books out there aren't like great tools. Um, so if you're a children's book writer, you should work on that. <laughs> you can make a good ABC book inspired by Zorn Village for me and I will use it. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today and I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday and I will see you next week with one book probably. Probably. <laughs> okay, bye.